Applying Ultra EverDry properly will ensure a coating that will protect and last for a long time. We recommend using the Ultra Mini Sprayer for smaller applications. Prepare the surface that will be sprayed. Remove all oil, grease, dust, dirt, loose rust, and other foreign material to ensure adequate adhesion. Smooth surfaces can be sanded for enhanced surface adhesion. Personal protective equipment should always be worn when applying Ultra EverDry. The following items should be used. Nitro gloves, respirator, and safety glasses. The Ultra Mini Sprayer comes with a glass jar, a power unit, and a dip tube. Remove the filter at the bottom of the dip tube. Secure the dip tube firmly into the bottom of the power unit. After shaking the EverDry container well and filling the glass jar at least halfway, attach the power unit to the glass jar. Test spraying is recommended. Apply multiple thin and uniform coats. Vertical and horizontal passes are recommended. A thin film is all that is needed. Overspraying may result in increased dry times and or increased color effect on the substrate. Maintaining some agitation by swirling the jar during the application is recommended. Do not shake the jar when it is attached to the power unit. Keep the sprayer between a 90 and 45 degree angle. Maintain a proper distance and keep the sprayer moving to avoid wetting or pooling. After 15 to 20 minutes of dry time, you will be ready for the next step. Apply the top coat using the same method and guidelines described for the bottom coat. We recommend using a separate sprayer for the top coat. As the top coat dries, it will become hazy in appearance. The Ultra Ever Dry Coating will become super hydrophobic within 30 minutes of the top coat application. For best results, allow one hour of drying time for the bottom coat and allow the top coat to dry overnight. Once you have finished applying Ultra Ever Dry, clean both mini sprayers. Return any unused product back into the original container. Add a small amount of xylene to the glass jar, attach the power unit, and spray the contents to flush the system. Unscrew the jar and leave it to air dry.